really think this is the right thing for us to be doing, Ivana? What will people think? Let them talk. Ivana. 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 It's wrong, isn't it? But it feels so right. Then it's a deal? Yes, I have the last slice. Actually, you're only entitled to half. Ivana Trump quickly became one of the most well-known and written about wives on the New York City social scene, but since their tumultuous divorce in the 90s, she's kept a much lower profile in the press. Where has she been all this time? Here's what we know. 1. She supported his run for president. Despite their bitter and headline-making divorce, Ivana stood behind her ex-husband's successful bid for the White House, sources revealed to the New York Post. Surprisingly, the Czech-born socialite even agreed with Donald's controversial stance on immigration, telling the Post, I think the Mexican people, and people who are immigrants, are fine because, they, are good workers and good people. But they have to come here legally and they have to speak at least a little English and pay the taxes. She added, I disagree when an 18-year-old girl climbs over the border and she's pregnant and gives birth and the kid becomes automatically American. Who is paying for food and hospitality? Us, Americans. As long as they are here legally, it's fine. 2. She says their divorce prevented him from running for president sooner. According to Ivana, we could have been referring to the Donald as Mr. President decades ago had it not been for their scandalous divorce, which was finalized in 1991. Probably five years before our divorce, Reagan or somebody brought him a letter and said, you should run for president, she told the New York Post. So he was thinking about it. But then dot there was the divorce, there was the scandal, and American women loved me and hated him. But he was always tooling around with the idea. And speaking of the scandal. 3. Did she avoid Marla Maples at the inauguration? Page 6 reported that Ivana bailed early on the inauguration celebrations in an attempt to avoid seeing Marla Maples, the woman with whom Donald had an affair during their marriage and who Ivana famously confronted in the 90s. Ivana, had planned to go out and celebrate after the swearing-in, but when she found out that Marla was going, she cancelled, a source told the paper, adding that Ivana caught a 9pm flight back to New York on inauguration day. To rephrase Ivana's famous line from the First Wives Club, 1996, don't get mad. Get the hell out of there. 4. She wants to be an ambassador. Getting back on friendly terms with her ex-husband may work to Ivana's favor. In fact, she's already planning for her future now that he's in the White House. I will suggest that I be ambassador for the Czech Republic, she told the New York Post. That is where I'm from and my language and everybody knows me. I'm quite known all around the world. Not only in America. I have written th three books, and they were translated in 40 countries in 25 languages. I'm known by the name Ivana. I really did not need the name Trump. Well, if former Apprentice reality star Amaruza Managolt can get a job, why can't an ex-wife? 5. She's been dating a lot. Ivana is one of the world's most well-known socialites, so it should come with little surprise that she has her fair share of suitors to pick from. I have about three boyfriends. She revealed to Fashion Week Daily in February 2016. Later that year, the Daily Mail spotted Ivana in street trope with her her ex-husband and on-again, off-again lover Rosanna Rubicondi. It's unclear if the Italian model was grouped in with her about three boyfriends. Either way, get it, girl. 6. She's never marrying again. After her marriage to Donald ended in the 90s, Ivana added two more failed marriages to her name, bringing her grand total to four. Will we ever see her walk down the aisle for a fifth time? Not if she has anything to do with it. If you are a married woman, you usually follow what the man wants to do. I can do whatever what I want, she told the New York Post. I'm not getting married again. But I like companions. The most important for me is honesty, good humor, not necessarily a millionaire. I don't need money. I prefer to be a babysitter than a nursemaid. I don't want to worry about bad knees and bad back. 7. Her grandkids call her grandma. 
With a life as rich and extravagant as Ivana's, her eight grandkids can't really get away with calling her something simple like Granny or Grandma. Instead, Ivana told the New York Post they refer to her as Ivana Ma or Glanma. At this point in the article, you can tell that makes perfect sense. 8. She dabbled in reality TV. Much like Donald, Ivana dipped her toes into reality TV waters, albeit with minimal success. In 2006, she reportedly starred in a dating special called Ivana Younger Man, in which she helped a millionaire woman find a younger suitor who was after love, not cash. A few years later, Ivana joined other celebrities, including Stephen Baldwin and Heidi Fleiss, for season 7 of the UK hit Celebrity Big Brother. She was eliminated on day number 25. 9. She lives around the world. If you want to catch a glimpse of Ivana in person, you are going to have to be in the right place at the right time of year. I spend winters in Miami, spring and fall in New York, and in summer, I have a 300-year-old fisherman's house in Street Tropez, she told Fashion Week Daily. Will she one day add Washington, D.C., to her list? When it comes to Trump friends and family relocating to the White House, Ivana might have to wait in line. Some people the ultimate goal in life uh, has been becoming the President of the United States. Would you like to be the President of the United States? I really don't believe I would, Rona, but I would like to see somebody as the President who could do the job, and there are very capable people in this country. Why wouldn't you dedicate yourself to public service? Because I think it's a very mean life. I, I would love and I would, I would dedicate my life to this country, but I see it as being a mean life, and I also see it as somebody with strong views and somebody with the kind of views that are maybe a little bit unpopular, which may be right, but may be unpopular, wouldn't necessarily have a chance of getting elected against somebody with no great brain but a big smile. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. I will say this, nobody has more respect for women, and nobody is going to defend our country stronger than Donald Trump, and I think I'm going to do very well. That's what I'm talking about, what do you think? I mean, honestly, it happens to be 100% true. <laughs> I win, Mexico pays. Smart. I'm really smart. I know China very well. That was locker room talk. Earlier that was disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her, she's a slob. She talks like a, like a truck driver. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person, both inside and out. If I were running with you, I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fine. You haven't got a picture. I love the Mexican people. Many Mexican people work for me. Part of the beauty of me is that I'm very rich. Maybe there is no hacking. I'd like to know, Anderson, why aren't you bringing up demons? They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're raping. Well, I'm I, like China. I love China. China. China is the new China, by the way. China. 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 Because China. 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 I know nothing about Russia. I know. I know about Russia. I know nothing about Russia. I mean, we start. They do it. You can do anything. You have the person. A lot of people do not think it was an authentic certificate. I did John Parker. She was married. I don't know. Is that I'm very rich.
I did try and fuck her. That was locker room talk.